Hello, hey, it's JC here with Expedition Electric. I'm standing here in front of our uh, 2004 uh, KTM 950. Uh, at least that was what it was before we started with it there. We, uh, we took the gasoline motor out of this bike and uh, put in a fully electric. Uh, it has an AC35 in it. You look over here and you can actually see the, uh, this is a two, two to one gear reduction that we built for the bike there. Chris Bell is who did the build on that for us. This allows us there to let the motor spin at a higher RPM and also allowed us to invert the uh, drive for it so it goes back to the location where it was originally. Uh, this bike there, uh, the motor itself generates 88 horsepower so we're actually six more horsepower than the bike was as a gas bike. We're getting about 130 mile range with this bike so uh, therefore there it's basically what it was as a gas bike. Back here in the back we've got the lithium ion batteries. We've got 17 kilowatt hours on board at 150 volts, uh, which has got a pretty good punch. That's enough to run most people's homes for about a day and do laundry. It's kind of a nice option. Here in this little box up here in the back there, we have uh, from Manzanita Micro, we have the management system that allows us to do the charging that we do. When we built these bikes, we built it very specifically for the trip Expedition Electric. And so we knew that we were gonna have uh, a standalone charging system on our trailer. The trailer is actually just here behind me. And uh, since, since we knew that, we, uh, we went with a, uh, the charging type system that we did. Basically in 2016, we went up to the Arctic Circle and we put the bikes on the ground and we, uh, our goal was to go from Alaska to Argentina. Unfortunately there, uh, the battery manufacturers did not figure out a really good way to do a, their battery containment system. So our failure point was actually that the lithium ion batteries that are on board started moving up and down like this, which was actually breaking the circuit boards that manage the power as it's going to the motor to be used. Um, unfortunately there, uh, because it took them seven and a half weeks to, to make the repair after we got back to Las Vegas where they're located, uh, it did not allow us to finish that trip. We're currently uh, working with the gentleman uh, Tom and Eric uh, from the Deadliest Catch to uh, generate and make a new show, uh, basically building with uh, Lightning Motorcycles. Lightning Motorcycles uh, has the fastest production bike in the world at 218 miles an hour off the showroom floor. It is fully electric and I've been working uh, with, with, with uh, Richard Hatfield, the owner of the company, to design and build a dual sport bike, something like this, that will basically do, uh, it's a 500 pound bike, this one's about 700 pounds, so we'll have a lighter bike, we'll have a 100 horsepower motor, uh, we're looking at about a 200 to 250 mile range uh, at highway speeds, and all of the charging and that is built right into the bike, so we can roll up to any charging station and actually uh, plug in, and 20 minutes later we'll be able to ride away. We'll also have that same uh, ability on our uh, trailer, our support trailer for the trip, where we will have a battery bank built in the trailer and let the solar panels charge it up, and we'll use the same concept. We'll be able to plug right in and uh, fairly quickly go on. Uh, please go to expeditionelectric.com and check it all out. We also have a YouTube page and you're welcome to see uh, some of the things we've already done. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you have any great ideas to help us out, we are looking for sponsorship and hope to get this all back on the road 2019.